Hello beautiful people. Today I'll be showing you guys how to make turkey tacos. In my house we love tacos and soup night. I hope you guys love it too. And here are the ingredients. These tacos are also known as taquitos or flautas because they resemble a flute. Luckily this turkey was oven baked, shredded, and ready to go in my freezer. Before using frozen turkey, you want to warm it up in a pan first and if it's too dry, add a little bit of moisture. It could just be water or a little bit of broth. Put a little bit of salt or some garlic salt or both. So how much stuffing should you add in your tacos? Don't add too little turkey because then they'll call you shysty. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, um, actually with tacos you can add as little or as much as you want. We even have um, tacos of nothing, which is like tacos de nada. Tortillas that are fresh, soft, still moist. They'll put like a little bit of salt in sight, roll them up really tight and fry them into tacos and people are, will say like, well what's in these tacos? What are they made of? And, and usually you say, oh tacos of nothing. What do you mean tacos de nada? Yeah, tacos de nada, there's nothing in it. But you know, for some reason they're delicious. Then again, everything that's fried is pretty good. <laughs> I'm gonna start making the potato tomato soup simultaneously. We're hungry, so gotta get the show on the road. Dice the onion really small, then you're gonna fry it. You're actually gonna brown it with a little bit of fat. I like using manteca, lard, or coconut oil. Manteca is more typical for all of these dishes. Sometimes when I want that old school flavor, I just go, I go manteca all the way. Now that I've blended my tomatoes, my small piece of onion and garlic, and now that the onion is brown, I'm going to put the pan on high and pour in my sauce. Don't move your sauce. It's very important. You need your sauce to to sizzle, you need the bottom of it to sizzle so that you create a flavor concentrate. So you're going to leave your sauce like that until it turns orange. Add your potatoes, add salt and or garlic salt to taste. Cover potatoes with water. Once it starts boiling again, proceed to add a piece of cilantro. Cover your pot, lower the temperature, let simmer for 15 minutes or until the potatoes are soft. Now I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm starting to fry my tacos before they, they reach that perfect point of coolness where, where they don't fall apart anymore. So they're opening up a little, but it's okay. I'm gonna struggle with them. They'll they'll end up okay. Even if my tortillas are kind of broken, I could still go ahead and roll them successfully because my tortillas are a little moist, my chicken is a little moist, so it all kind of adheres together nicely. While I give it a tight roll, when the tortillas are broken like this, I like adding chunks of kale or in this case spinach just to patch up the tortilla up a little bit. I place them with the union or the ending of the tortilla face down. This way they cool in that fashion and once they're cool, they keep their shape. As you warm up your tortillas, remember to keep them covered. This way they stay moist and ready for for rolling time and roll and roll she goes how many tacos you'll get nobody knows hopefully lots of them remember you could always freeze them just fry them a little not all the way let them cool freeze them away hopefully in an airtight seal this way they will last fresh a lot longer I don't like my tacos swimming in too much fat, so I put a layer, a considerate layer of fat. As, as the tacos absorb the fat, I add a little bit more. 
and I usually like to go half vegetable oil and half lard. The vegetable oil helps give it a really nice crisp and the lard gives it an amazing flavor. As I fry my taquitos, I fry some very, very dark. I brown them to the max <laughs> and others I leave a little lighter. Some people, some people in my family like them super crunchy, super dark. Other people like them more like a golden color. Some people like them uh, fried, like very fried on both on two of the sides. And then they don't want me to fry the other side. They like that feeling of, of a little bit of softness also on, in the tortilla. So you try frying them different ways and see what you like best. The 15 minutes have passed and it looks like my soup is done. The potatoes are nice and soft. Please note that this soup is mild in taste. It's meant to accompany the tacos, not overpower the flavor. I'm dicing this lettuce and the spinach very thinly. I'll use it to top my taquitos, amongst lots of other yummy things. I really don't know anybody that adds all kinds of spinach and other vegetables into their tacos, but I like to do that. I like to balance it out. If I'm having fried stuff, I want to have a lot of fresh stuff. Think out of the box when you make tacos. Basically put anything in there. It's so much fun to, to make tacos with leftovers. It's pretty much endless. And here you are with everything finished. Build up your tacos, serve your soup on the side. In this case, I'm instead of instead of using sour cream, I'm using um, Lebanese yogurt. I think they call it Lebanese cheese. I love this product and I use it in a lot of recipes. In this case, I added a little bit of milk to thin it down. You can also add water. I also love canning and this salsa here is a salsa that I had made previously. It's made of roasted tomatoes and chilies. It's really good. All I did to spruce it up is add chopped onion and cilantro. And yes, Parmesan cheese. It goes great with tacos. It substitutes for queso añejo, which is Mexican aged cheese. Really, really good. It's a great substitute and some Mexicans prefer it over our own grated aged cheese. So. Yeah, if you have a good Parmesan, that'll do. In this case, it's a cheapy one. It's all I had, again. Part of my pandemic pantry. Please donate to my channel or subscribe. Anything helps. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay beautiful, and come back. Thanks again for watching. Love you all. Bon appetit.